this is uh, this is a tutorial, okay, where I'm going to try to show how you can edit uh, GLB models um, in Blender for use in um, for use in in, uh, in Bluff Titler. And as you can see here, um, I'm playing with Big Bot. He's a very good friend of mine right now. After having done all this, let me go over then to Blender again. Just I know nothing about Blender. This is version 2.92, the last version that works for Windows. That's why I'm using it, or Windows 7. That's why I'm using it. I'm using an add on, I think. Uh, you're gonna have to Google for that. And basically, I'm pulling in the, the Big Bot model here. So, this is what it looks like in, uh, in uh, I don't have any specularity on it here uh, as as. As like like I have here in in, in, in Bluff Titler. So, but this is what we're going to be uh, this is what we're going to be playing with. Now I'm going to go straight into. Uh, just believe me, this is very very complicated. I'm just showing you the absolute top surface of this. Uh, nothing special at all. But here we have um, a te texture paint uh, setup. So in the on the left window here, we're going to be getting the textures in. But there's three texture files that are embedded in the GLB file. Three of them that we're going to be, uh, well, we're going to be playing with one of them here, but I'm just going to explain what they are. This one is the metallic and roughness uh, texture map, a 2D thing. Uh, and it's not used here. Uh, uh, we're gonna, not going to play with it, but the thing is, it's very important that it's left intact because it allows us to use ambient occlusion in the uh, uh, in, in Bluff Titler. This is called a normal map, and we can do a lot of good stuff with this, but I won't touch this now. It's not a normal map in the sense that it's commonly used. It's a normal map as regards to uh, light angles, the normals where they hit an object, and that creates an illusion of, of uh, three-dimensionality in a model. But we're not going to play with that one. That one is worth really working on. But we're going to do this one. So this is a this is a 2D uh, representation of the texture of the 3D 3D model uh, to the right. Okay. So basically, if you flatten out all the parts of the model. And then you just laid it out there, and and you, uh, you 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 painted on it all the textures. That map here is matched to the model on the right. Okay, we're going to be playing a little bit, trying to figure out you know which parts are where on this map, and this is why I use Blender because I want to know. And we're going to be trying to to set the back walls of these uh, two vents, and where are they on this map? I don't know, but if you look up there on the right uh, on the top left corner. You can see a semblance of of, uh, of of the vents, okay? So let me just paint up here and see, you know, where does he show up on a model? Now look on the right, you can see that it shows up above the vent, so, you know, that's that's where we are. And if I paint, all right, let me get this, uh, there you go, te texture paint. If I paint here, directly on them, this is really cool actually, then it shows up on a texture map to the left. All right, pretty nice, huh? But let's just, I'm going to try to paint, uh, you know, into the the back wall here. So I'll just paint a little bit around like that, okay. And then we'll look on the texture map to the, to the, to the left. It, the back wall is not painted. Why is that? And this is where, this is so complicated. It took me literally uh, months to figure out how to do these things, to create UV maps and so forth. And no way I'm touching that. But... Uh, you don't need to really know that uh, for, to play with this. Let me back out and, and delete those uh, uh, de de delete those lines, and then oops, all right, I haven't figured out the keyboard shortcuts for Blender all yet. But let's just go over uh, to the model here, okay? And then I'm gonna paint. Uh, I'm gonna paint in inside the on the on the on the vent wall. Now s check out what happens uh, in the um, check out what happens in the uh, in the left side on the texture map, okay. So if I paint there, in the on the on the model, it shows up down here on the texture map. Is there logic to that? Well, you might think so, but let's see when we paint uh, when we paint the yellow wall or the the yellow vent there. I'm going to choose yellow, and then I'm going to paint on on check out what happens on the texture map, okay. All right, so the second vent is up there, and the first vent is down to the to the left. So there's no really no logic to this, and I'm not going to go into why this is so, but that's the way it is. Okay, so just 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 take my word for it. 
So how do we handle uh, painting just the wall, uh, that, that part, that, that single part of the model? Well, there are different ways of doing it. And this is what I like to do is that you can zoom in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to remove that. Control Z, take that out, and then I'm going to choose. Well, you can see here that it sort of looks like, you know, the wall, uh, you know, the back side of the vent wall. Let me show something instead here. Uh, show the UV uh, meshes, okay? So basically, then now you get a representation of the mesh that covers, that is that wall, okay? Now, if I paint inside of that mesh, or I can actually, you know, you, 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 can, you can be kind of sloppy here, you don't have to. So if I paint inside of that, see what happens, okay? Bam, it's right there. It shows up on the, on the right, and it's exactly that wall, uh, or actually only that wall, okay? All right, oops, there we go again. All right, uh, let's zoom in on, on, on the red, uh, on the red, on the red vent, the red vent wall. And uh, I'm going to be, you know, painting on here. Now, depending on how this UV map is set up, you can, you can be you can be sloppy here. You can paint outside of the of the mesh, okay? And it, it won't just it won't disturb stuff, you know, to a certain point, okay? Now you see that that works out well. Oops, I gotta yeah, fill that in. Okay, so there you go. Now if I zoom out and then just draw a line across whatever I'm not sure what it is if we look at the model you can see that that line showed up on the legs and the, on the bottom of, of, of the main body of the ro robot okay all right so we got that done and now that, that we actually made uh, change texture so we just uh, or change the texture so uh, export now when I export this these texture maps are embedded inside of the of the uh, of the model this is pretty cool so if I go here over to Bluff Titler and I uh, reload and we run the show, you, there it is. Okay, now this is pretty cool. Now, you see that nice cool shading there? That's the ambient occlusion. Okay, if we zoom in there, okay. So that's ambient occlusion. That's a new function within Bluff Titler. All right, that's pretty cool. So you go down there and you choose ambient occlusion, the factor, and you can, um, uh, you can change that, you see, to, and it looks pretty good with one. You can actually then ramp it up even further. I like 1.5 is fine, fine with me. So that's what, um, that's what it is. So that's basically a very, very basic playing with, with a, and that goes for every single part of that, uh, model. All right. Um, let's move, uh, further on and actually edit the shape of the model. All right, so I'm going to put some stuff here on the back and we're going to go into something called sculpting. Again, this is pretty much all I know about editing models in, <laughs> in, in, in Blender. It's, you know, I, it's just weird. But this is like a clay model then. And we're going to start with uh, just smoothing out uh, the edges of that top vent. You're going to see that later on, okay? And then I'm going to put spine on this guy, all right? So I just paint there, and again, don't ask me, uh, don't ask me anything about this kind of stuff. You know, not, don't because I don't know anything about it. All right, put in some spine there, and then I'm going to put a fin on there. I want to, I want to emphasize, you can do this on animated GLB models as well. That's uh, that's for the next. Uh, it works exactly the same. It looks a bit different, but that's that's the way it is. So I'm going to export this. And uh, over to uh, Bl uh, Bluff Titler, and then we go over to Bluff Titler, and we reload this show, and uh, we play it. And there you go, pretty cool, huh? So you can see that's changed the the vent, and you can also see the spine. Uh, you, you can also see the spine uh, on this. Now, again, so that's pretty much it. Um. um yeah, we're gonna do one last thing here, right? Uh, just edit model, uh, edit all the nodes. I think there are about forty-six thousand different nodes and seventy-five thousand triangles in this. And this is all I know. You 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 paint out nodes. You press G and then you move the mouse and you get that to be done. And why not just do a slight change on on the back here? Just like that. Pull them out 
and uh, you know just something now that's all I know about editing models in uh, and it's in blender that's pretty much, pretty much it all right so we say that and then we go over to uh, Wolf Titler. All right, uh, reload the model. Uh, and you can see on the front there, uh, there's a change. It's actually a hole in the model, but whatever. All right, and on the back, uh, you can see the, the change as well. That's um, what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I, I, there's just so much more to it than, than what I did here but I think this might get some of you guys started on, on playing with this uh, just remember then that th 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 those texture files are stored inside the GLB model and that's the beauty of this you can complicate things by pulling them out and link them externally and all that sort of stuff but uh, that's 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 another lesson but uh, this is it for now <laughs>